Hey, what's going on, everybody? So today I want to talk about the INEO OS. It will be available for the INEO, of course. Um, the INEO is a gaming PC, gaming handheld, handheld gaming PC, whatever you want to call it, and it's made by INEO. Um, so INEO, maker of some popular, pretty popular uh, gaming handhelds announced their own Linux OS. Now of course, the most popular PC gaming handheld is the Steam Deck. Um, it's the most popular on the market right now. It's not the most powerful, but it's pretty, it's pretty fairly priced. Okay, now Steam OS has not been released to the public yet. Um, Valve continues to update it, continues to f refine it, tweak it, and it continues to make it better. And they're they've planned they're, it's been planned that they will release it public, so other manufacturers can um, install a Steam OS on the on the on their handhelds. Now, I think now you can install Steam OS on some handhelds. And on some desktops and laptops even, but it's not official. Um, so once Valve releases SteamOS, I think all of these uh, gaming PC gaming handheld manufacturers are going to use SteamOS. Of course, some might not, but I think more gamers would... Um, steer towards the manufacturers that do because Steam OS is going to be like the best OS operating system to have on a gaming handheld okay PC gaming handheld because there's going to be a lot of support for it developers are, are going to um, optimize their games around like you know Valve's hardware rather than like I and or whatever but um but since it's open source, pretty much even the, the gaming handheld, handheld manufacturers can tweak their the OS to optimize it for their own hardware. So um, open source is the way to be, man. It's the way to go. So yeah, here's like them some slides that INEO released for the INEO OS. Uh, INEO OS is an operating system for gaming handhelds. It's uh, based on Linux's uh, deep optimization, focuses on game management and gaming device management. INEO has self developed, it's supposed to be self developed interdaces, it's supposed to be interfaces, and an interacted operation. An interactive, op I don't know what that means, anyways. Organize. The user's game, it can the game's running management, retro game, custom optimization, small application center, INEO, Evo, management, I don't know what these mean. Master all around handheld management center. Brand new INEO quick set one. Anyways, you get the idea. Let's go to the next slide. So this is I guess how it's it's gonna look. It looks pretty uh pretty standard for like Pretty like uh, I like this sim simplified uh, um, design. Looks pretty good, honestly. Looks pretty good. It's what you'd expect from like a user interface for like a gaming handheld, right? So let me go over here on the. This is the official website of iNeo, by the way. Uh, focus on the fun of gaming. Will coming soon. They mean to say. It will be coming soon. So I and EOS, highly efficient, simple, immerse, immerse, immersive, they mean. INEO is built for handhelds and all designed to keep players engaged. Self-developed system, data synchronization, pro mode, quick setup, console games, old game. Okay. Okay, you can use third-party apps. Pretty standard, guys. I mean... What is this? Oh, they have this. This is a phone app. 
Okay, and then over here they link to uh, Battle Sarah and ES Simulation Station. Is it based on them? Anyways, so yeah, that's the INE OS. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see once Valve releases SteamOS to the public. Um, I think a lot of these manufacturers will use SteamOS for their hardware. Anyways, guys, take care. Bye.